This is Neil Sahn Dynasty. I am Neil, your host tonight, bringing you the local news. Actually, it's this morning. Uh, <clears throat> apparently, there was an earthquake in Ecuador. 6.1, no big deal for me. I lived in California the past 26 years. We, we've felt worse than that. Uh, I actually built a uh, theater, <laughs> 24 complex theater on top of the Hayward Fault. It lasted for five years, then they tore it down. That shows you how much money and waste we had in the Bay Area. It's about two decades ago. But anyhow, here is the report on the earthquake from, where, where is it from? Guayacupe, Guayacupe Ecuador. Uh, we'll call this BTC land. On Thursday, July 14th at 17.30 local time, an earthquake of magnitude 6.1 hit the province of Guayas in Ecuador. The epicenter of the Telluric movement was at a depth of 58 kilometers, 12 kilometers from San Miranda, a suburb of Cuyacu. Thousands of residents left the shaking buildings in search of safe places. Look at that road shake. The earthquake was also felt well, it's the camera, in obviously, but the, the road had to shake for the camera to shake. And even the capital, Quito, located 300 kilometers away. The shocks were deep. So the seismic waves generated reach great distances, even areas of northern Peru. Despite the proximity of the earthquake to the coast, its characteristics do not correspond to the conditions for the occurrence of a tsunami. It is already known that several houses and buildings in Samborondon and Guayaquil were damaged. The earthquake also hit a medical See right there, you saw those people rushing out? You know, if people don't get hurt during the earthquake, they get hurt by the evacuation of buildings because they become what it's called mob rules. You can have a person with 150 IQ get in a scenario with 100 other people who start freaking out and their combined IQ equals 10. You should, so when this stuff happens, orderly, be orderly about leaving a building. Don't panic, don't run, don't try and be the first one out because you'll probably end up hurting more people trying to get out fast than efficiently. You got to keep your wits about you. As you saw, you rewind and you'll see all those people rushing. It was like a, a bottle cap. You had 50 people going for four doors. Man, arms get broken. Someone would have fell. They would have got a lot worse than that. And yet it was only a 6.1 and as you'll see, no buildings fell. So most of the damage could have easily been occurred by people freaking out in large numbers. Always keep your head about you. Things happen quick. Keep mentally in charge of your own facilities and you can do better for yourself and others around you. The capital of Bolivar province. The National Risk and Emergency Management Service is assessing damage in the affected areas. Authorities said aftershocks are likely in the coming days. Wow. Nice crack. Guayaquil is the most populous city in Ecuador. The population of the agglomeration is about 3 million people. Located approximately 300 kilometers southwest of the country's capital, Quito, on the Guayas River, the center of the province of Guayas. Anyhow, uh, that happened yesterday. As you can see by the uh, video, people were freaking out. Understand this, people. You are in charge of you. You didn't see no help from the government when that happened. The government was like freaking out too because they didn't know what happened. You are your own first responder. This is the most powerful weapon in the world if used properly. Don't let it... There's a, My family motto, my Scottish family motto, Highlanders, is sans pure. Sans Pierre means fear nothing. When a situation happens, and here's an old saying, fear is the mind killer. The reason why it's said it's the mind killer, because in a situation like that earthquake, you're in a building, 50, 100 people freaking out, all running to four exits. They're going to get hurt. There's a good chance they're going to get hurt. The people who keep their wits about them 
and stand up and say, orderly, come this way, evacuate slowly, efficiently, you know, keep your wits about you because you are responsible for you. The government's going to come after, after you lose control of your facilities and put yourself in harm's way. So make sure to keep your wits about you. Uh, do the little trainings that they say, you know, there's a, a thing about New York supposedly getting nuked. Or, yeah, I'll, uh, go through your family with a little game plan. Get, get a little preparation. They got these things uh, for fires where you go through a game plan with your family for fires. You know, it might be time for families to get together and start doing that again so that way people have an idea. You notice the one lady who ran out, she had the kids, the three kids come out behind her. She ran out first and then turned around to get her little girl because she freaked out. She lost her, her, her marbles for about five seconds. And in an earthquake, one second's all it takes to get hurt. So please, people, prepare as far as having your wits about you. Have a game plan for different scenarios. I know it sounds foolish, but just look around. There's a lot of foolishness going on. Please, people, be safe. Keep your head on a swivel. Buy some silver and platinum. Be kind, helpful, and grateful. Because in a scenario like a 6.1, if, if buildings do fall down and you're not kind, helpful, and grateful, people could be hurting for a long time until the government decides to react. You, in America, we're, we're, we're privileged. We supposedly are the government. We've given up a lot of power and control to the idiots up there in Washington. But trust me, in your hometown, something bad happens. Those idiots in Washington ain't going to be there in two seconds. You are. Keep your head on swivel. Get some knowledge. To get some preparedness, some planning with you and your family and your friends. It takes 15, 20 minutes once a month. And you'll have a better feeling for your families being able to survive something that happens unsuspectingly that we haven't had happen in 40, 50, 60, 80, a million, whatever years. All right, you guys be safe.